Hey everybody, Paul here back with Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. In the last episode, we took on the Captain Gets Toad Napped. In this episode, we're going to be taking on Onward Toadette. Let's start off with five, uh, number 5, Floaty Fun Water Park. So, first thing you want to do is just head through here to get that gem. Pretty easy so far. Now what you want to do is head this way and go through this pipe. Oh, and look, we're so close to the star, but we still have a little bit we have to do here anyway. So if we do that, we step on the button and we pretty much are submerged in water. And if you turn the camera like this, and you turn right, you get the second gem. And now to get the last gem, which is pretty easy to get, just fall down here. Get past these guys. And there's your third gem. Pretty easy. And let's run back up here. And now, what we want to do is just go down this way. And let some of the Goombas come towards me. So I can do that. Oh god. Now, yeah, there's a high possibility you're going to be getting hit. That's, that's a given. But, now we have this. Come here, Goomba. And that's how you destroy all the Goombas. And pretty easy. Now, yeah, so there is a chance you will get hit. Which is fine. There's no, uh... There's nothing that says you can't be hit, but yeah. yeah. Yay, course clear! On to the next course. Drift Along Canyon. So this level is a little bit harder than the last level, just because. Oh jeez. Uh, just because like there's death everywhere. And yeah, it's just kind of a hard level. I don't know why they made the difficulty so much higher in this one compared to the last one. The last one was really easy. So, if we go through here, we get the first gem. Let's drop down. We can run a little bit to get here. And you can see that there's three pal blocks right there. So, to destroy those, you just go over here, get this turnip. And there we go. Pretty simple stuff. Now, to get the second gem, all we have to do is just get this guy. And he'll give it to us. And if you're wondering what this guy gives us, he actually gives us a pickaxe, which we just use to come over here and collect a lot of coins. Yeah, now we have o over a hundred coins. Uh, so this part's the hardest part, I think, because um, honestly. I've recorded this a few times now, and this is the part where I keep dying at. Because they're homing bullet bills, which are the worst. Especially when you're trying to get that gem over there. Now it's a little easier because I can just throw it at them when they're coming out. But still. Oh, finally. It's a good recording. Well, it wasn't at first, but still. <laughs> so let's just head up these to get the star. Oh, yeah. So next, we have Sliding Slab Shuffle. So for this one, I am going to have to do it twice. So be prepared for that. So, 
Uh, I'm going to be getting the gems first, so let's just push that out of the way. Push it back for us. And let's push this. And if you do that, it actually will bring you right to there. And just to make this a little bit easier. So if you just wait, go down here, wait for those to explode, you can come up here and get that gem. And if we just head this up this way, we can make that come out. And we can go back in. And let's wait for these to shoot. Because as soon as we get up here, we have to go down. And if we pluck this, we get our third gem. Let's wait for these to shoot again. And let's run and get the star. And I'll be back just to do the second part of this. So to do the second part for this, we can only touch uh, the everything four times. So instead of touching this one, what you can do is just slide off the side there. And if we go up and around, we have one, two. Um, three, four, and now we can get to the star easily. And there's the star. Oh yeah! So next we have spooky specters at Shadow Manor. So, first, if we just turn around, we get the one-up shroom that we had to get pretty easy. Um, and what I like with this is that you can actually kill all the boos. <laughs> but first, what we want to do, before anything else, is come this way and get our first gem. Then, if we just fall down this way, we can go up here and go down this way to get our second gem. And those guys are pretty easy to go by. And let's go up this way. And let's just flip this around a little bit to there. And let's run, 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 and shine. Easiest way to get that gem is to just kill those giant boos when they come towards you. And let's run off and get the star. Oh, yeah. So next we have Dragadon's Revenge. So this one's a little bit harder than the other Dragadon fight we did. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead over here, get this gem, and you can collect these coins if you want, since this isn't really a, a coin collecting challenge. It's a don't get hit challenge, which is a lot harder to do. So let's wait for him to shoot out his fire again, and hand down this way. Head over here. Let's fall down to here. And if we quickly get this, we get our second gem. Oh. Let's head up here. Let's turn this quickly. Okay, come on. Twist that again, and it'll make this one turn. And now to get the last gem, if we just head down this way, we can get the last gem. Pretty easy. 
Let's wait for that to go away. And fall right down to into here. Okay. Let's run. Oh, jeez, that was really close. So I'm going to wait for him to shoot and... And then... Come on, quickly. Yes. Let him shoot. And... Let's run up. We can do this. Yes! So we did it without taking any damage. It's really good. Yay! And we get the star! So yeah, that was that whole chapter. In the next chapter, we're going to be doing Farewell Pyro Puff Peak. Which should actually be a lot of fun. Anyways, hope you guys had a fun time watching, because I had a fun time playing. Please like, subscribe, comment, and favorite this video. It really helps me out, and I really appreciate it. So yeah, see you next time, guys. Bye.